Hi, everybody. And how are you doing on this very gray and somewhat snowy Sunday here in the Philadelphia area? Um, I've got a couple of reviews. Actually, it might be three reviews. It depends on how my time management is today. But I have some wig reviews for you. And I am going to start off by reviewing this wig from NV Wigs. Here's the box that she came in. Um, this wig is the Dakota wig, and she is in the shade Golden Nutmeg. I was fortunate enough to purchase this on a closeout from Sister Wigs. And I'll tell you, Heather has some really good prices on her closeout wigs. Um, I don't even know where to start with this one because I have this weird love, not love relationship with this particular unit. I'm not going to say I love, hate it because I don't hate it. There's a lot about this wig that I think is really good, but there's also a lot about this particular Dakota wig that I think Envy can um, do some improving upon. So let me start out with what is driving me absolutely batshit crazy about this wig. While I love the wave pattern, the flatness on the top is driving me up a wall. And one of the reasons that it's driving me up a wall is, and this is the most bizarre thing in the world, this wig is a lot like my bio hair when I had my bio hair cut into a bob, okay? So that's not necessarily a bad thing, but what is the issue is that my bio hair had so many different wave patterns that when I did wear my bio hair natural, the top was just like this. It was flat and it drove me up a wall. Now in the thumbnail, if everything goes correctly, there will be a picture from like 1986 of what my hair looked like when it was this length. Granted, it was a lot thicker and it was a lot bigger, but the gist was it was a lot like this. And there were days when I would have to take a curling iron and curl this little part of my hair just to kind of make it blend in with everything else. And the thing that I find so confusing about this unit is why did NB do this? I mean, why did they make a unit that was so like, flat kind of and straight in the front and then make this really great wave pattern throughout the rest of the wig. Hold on. I'm going to show you this wig from side to side and in the back. Okay. Now this is my right side. And I think the right side has beautiful styling. It's got a nice shape. There's nothing wrong with this. Now, here it is from the back. Again, the back has a beautiful wave pattern and the shape is really nice. Now, here it is from my left side. Here you go. Overall, she's got a really nice wave pattern, but what I find unusual is that the wave pattern is slightly looser on the left side than on the right side. And I know that this happens with a lot of wigs as far as like inconsistencies or different patterns within each wig. And that's fine. But to me, it's very noticeable. And the other thing that's really noticeable is the change in shape from the side. Now, golden nutmeg is a really nice color. Um, it's 
it is true to it's true to the name in that it is golden. But look, this side is more nutmeggy, and this side is more golden. And never the twain shall meet. I mean, there has to be more consistency within the color blend. Now, I'm not saying that this is a bad wig because it isn't at all. I'm just saying it's annoying as all get out because of this, like this thing. It, it just, I don't know. I know that there are a lot of people who do like it straighter on the top. And I think that if that's the case, it's a great, 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 great wig for you. But in all honesty, I would rather have a wig that just kind of is consistent with the wave pattern. I, and I honestly think that if Envy didn't have this thing and just had a better wave pattern, like throughout, even on the top, this would be a stellar, amazing wig. For the meantime, what I've done, I have this little, I have this little clip. And I decided to just take a little bit of hair. Oh, there we go, baby. And kind of like poof it out. So it looks a little more conducive to the kind of style that I like. I don't think there's anything wrong with these baby bangs. I, they're fine. They don't bother me. But the thing that bothers me is that like tuft of straighter hair on top. Um, again, I think the color is great. If only it was blended better. Um, there's obviously, you can actually tell that this side is darker than this side and the wave pattern on this side isn't as, um, isn't as nice as the one on the other side. So that's, that's basically it. But you know what? I'm going to touch on something. <sighs> How can I put this? You're throughout your wig journey, you're going to end up buying wigs that you're going to love wigs that you wish that you never even put on your head. And then you're going to have those middle wigs where you're going to kind of be like, well, this has some really great qualities and there are some qualities that I really don't like. And those are the wigs that you're going to have to work with. And you're going to have to make a decision on whether you want to keep it, whether you want to donate it, whether you want to get a refund or whether you just want to trash it. This wig to me is workable. I can see me wearing this in the summer because I think this is a good summer wig. And since this really does mimic my old bio hair, I think it's not bad. It's just with those couple of issues that doesn't make a wig perfect. Um, I'm not that familiar with Envy wigs. I do have Lacey and I wear Lacey to the beach. Lacey is my beach wig. And I like it a lot. I have Chloe in the color chocolate cherry, which my husband got me for my birthday last year. And I love it. Like, I freaking love that wig. It's one of my favorites. Um, this, it's not my favorite, but it's not the worst. So I'll just kind of work with it. The other good thing about this particular Dakota wig is that... Envy wigs have a tendency to be a little smallish on me, but I can work with that. This fits like a charm. I don't know whether they made this cap bigger, but she definitely is not as snug as the other Envy wigs. So that's also something to look forward to. And it's a good point. Um, as I said, you know, like this is a weird review because I have never done a review like this before. The wigs that I have, I usually absolutely love. And it's really 
easy to tell if I'm not crazy about a wig, like the short, 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 short wigs. I'm not crazy about, but I will wear them at home and I will wear them cooking. Um, this is the second day that I'm wearing um, Dakota. I wore her yesterday to get used to it. And I really had to work with her. Um, here's the parting space. I did powder it. Um, I don't know. I'll show you what she looks like parted on the right side. She is a lace front, but you know, here she is parted on the right side. See like this, I, I don't know. It's like this top just, I don't know. It just drives me crazy. I, I feel, I, I honestly feel like I have my bio hair back because there were days when I would be like, oh, my hair is almost perfect except for this little thing. Or my hair would be better if I didn't have this little thing. So, I mean, as far as being natural, she's pretty natural looking because she's just as annoying as my bio hair was. But I mean, I don't know. She looks, overall, she looks fine on me. There's nothing where I would say she looks horrific. She looks fine. But it's just that little thing. And when there's a little tiny thing that bothers you, whether it's about your bio hair, whether it's about a wig, whether it's about an outfit that you're wearing or jeans that just aren't right, you're not going to be comfortable. Um, I think I will wear her to work this week, just kind of still get used to her. But I honestly think this is going to end up being a wig for the summer simply because of the wave pattern. So that's it. You know, you win some, you lose some. I, this isn't a winner, nor is it a loser. This is just right in the middle. So that's about it. Have a great day. And if you are in the midst of snow, I hope that your snow tapers off. And remember, even though we are having snow, we're still one day closer to spring. Yay. So I will see you later. If you like this, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. And I can see how you wouldn't like it because I'm very um, indecisive with this. So this is definitely an indecisive video. So I will be back. See you later and have a great day. Bye.